My name is Philip Alensos and I'm a Senior Research Fellow in the Department of Social Science, Health and Medicine. The question I'm going to consider today is how biology poses security threats. Research in biology and biomedicine is essential to global health. It provides insights into disease agents, their transmission and how we can treat them. But these same insights can also be abused. In World War I we saw for the first time how advances in science were applied to unconventional weapons at an industrial scale. The horrors of gas warfare led to the 1925 Geneva Protocol, banning the use of chemical and biological weapons in war, and later to the Chemical and Biological Weapons Conventions that aim to further prevent the misuse of these sciences. But advances in science are significantly eroding technological barriers to biological weapons. It is now easier to obtain disease-causing agents than it was just a few years ago, and it is also easier to enhance and replicate them for use in biological weapons. In the middle of the Cold War, in September of 1978, on a day not unlike today, Georgi Markov was walking across the Waterloo Bridge. He had defected from Bulgaria a few years earlier and had spent his time in London writing books and making radio broadcasts that were highly critical of the Bulgarian communist regime. As he walked across the bridge, a passerby pricked him with the tip of an umbrella. He quickly became ill and was taken to hospital where he died within a few days. It was later established that the umbrella had been used to fire a tiny pellet contaminated with ricin, a highly potent toxin, into Marco's leg. New and emerging infectious diseases, and diseases intentionally created in labs, are considered some of the biggest threats to our national security. We often hear the word bioterrorism, but the most significant security threat from advances in the biological sciences comes from states and their military programs. The silent and invisible nature of biological weapons could make them a highly potent means of attacking an enemy without the enemy knowing an attack has taken place. You may even be able to get rid of enemy regimes without anyone realizing foul play. Fortunately, the norm against biological weapons is strong. But although the likelihood is low that biological weapons would be used by states, it is not negligible and the potential impact would be severe and significantly greater than a conventional attack. The life science community plays a crucial role in sustaining biological disarmament and non-proliferation. Life scientists have the cutting edge technical expertise required to make sure the red lines we have laid down as an international community are not being crossed. Part of my job is to foster responsible science and to equip life scientists with the sensitivity that their experiments and research can be misused. 